Hi, in my previous video, I demonstrated how to use one of these software defined radio or SDR dongles that has the R820T chipset from Realtek. And with these um, dongles, they can pick up anything from between 400 megahertz all the way up to sorry 40 megahertz all the way up to about 1.7 gigahertz um, so you just have to use the right antenna um, to do what you want to do but in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to pick up aircraft ACAST messages so ACAST stands for aircraft communications addressing a reporting system so once again I'm just hooking this cable up to the TV antenna on my roof to the UHF antenna. Now, ACAST uh, broadcast in um, 100 and about 130. Uh, let's have a look at what the frequency is again. About 131.7 megahertz. Again, this depends on which country you're in, because the the frequency does vary from countries to countries. But um, that's uh, that that kind of works in the UK. So yeah, let's. Uh, anyway, I'll show you how to find out which frequency to select and things like that. So I'm not going to go into too much detail on how to use SDR sharp um, because it's a bit technical, and I've, I'm not not going to go into details on, on how to set this stuff up and all that. Please refer to my previous video because I want to keep uh, this one as short and as simple as. Uh, I can so please refer to my previous videos on how to use this so uh, coming back to SDR sharp uh, this uh, application allows us to tune in to whatever frequency we specify here as long as the dongle supports it and it decodes the, the transmission um, with uh, some some types of modulation that are supported here so if it's a if it's an FM channel, for example, we, we want to select that. But in this case, because it's um, AM, um, air traffic tower control, um, sorry, air traffic control uh, communications with the pilots that that take place takes place over AM um, amplitude modulation, uh, and so does ACAS. So in this case, we want to select AM. Right. So. The first thing that we want to do is um, we need to install this virtual audio cable software uh, driver which I'll, I'll post uh, the, the link to in the description so you can download and install that and the purpose of this is um, once we set it up it will set up a, a playback as well as a, a recording device in Windows so I'll just go ahead and open that up right now to, to show you what I mean so if we go to sound you can see that this is my uh, standard sound device and I've got a playback device called virtual audio cable and basically whatever sound is played back to this device will get piped back into this recording device called uh, uh sorry not that one but this one virtual audio cable so what that means is i can send sound out using this device and select this as the input device in another application now in this case we want to use sdr sharp to send the audio signal out using virtual audio cable to plane plotter now ACAST is basically data encoded over um, AM so if we pick up the AM signal it will produce a buzzing noise on the speaker but once plane plotter decodes the ACAST data this is what it should look like so you, you need to get a, a pilot to help interpret some of these but um, I can see things like bird activity reported um, receipt of information I don't know what these numbers do um, being processed but, but anyway let's get back to to business so this is uh, this is plane plotter right so 
I'm going to stop this from capturing stuff. Uh, what we have to do is go to I/O and check this box here called ACAS reception from audio input. We need that box check. Okay. The next thing we, that we have to do is go to options audio ACAS and select the source. And of course, as you would guess, we need to select virtual audio cable as the input source. Right. Now we go back here. Now for now, let's just select the output as our speaker. Um, for for ACAS decoding, it's best to turn this squelch thing off because we don't want any what what's the word any clipping on the audio uh, signal. Now I found that it works better when I use audio on tuner auto gain control rather than specify my RF gain. But I could be doing the wrong thing. Uh, frequency correction, and I I've not seen that uh, make a difference, so I'm not sure what it does. Maybe we should lower it down to 40 or, or something. I'm not really sure how it affect it. Right, so if I click play now. You can hear the noise on the speaker of the laptop, and you see all this. Um, this is a spectrum, so it shows where uh, sort of where there they are transmissions in the spectrum right so we see blue like that means that's just white space with nothing being transmitted and see lines like that it means that they are things being transmitted so in this case if we click on one of these or maybe that one there I'm not sure if you can hear that, but that is air traffic control at Heathrow. Okay. But for for the purpose of ACAS, we want to pick up blips like this because that's how ACAS transmits the messages that, that is encoded over AM. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. You hear that? Hear that. That's just background interference, but you heard the buzz earlier. Now that, that sound that you just heard there, that sound that you just heard there, that beep buzzing sound, that is ACAS messages being transmitted. So we want to use plane plotter to decode that signal. Now we know we've got the frequency right because we, we can hear the buzzing sound. Um, let me just set it to this one. Now what can I say? 131733. <coughs> Let's just set it to something like that. I think that picks up a cast quite well. Let me test it out. <coughs> Oops, I got it wrong. Okay. Okay, that seems to be picking up um, a car signals. So I'm going to switch the output back to virtual audio cable. And now when I click play, the sound will be piped back into the virtual audio cable device. So I can go to plane plotter and click start. And basically, you need to be able to see this wave graph there. That that means the audio is being piped in from there to there. Now if we go back to our a cast messages window. We should start to see. More entries, there we go. That one there just came in. 643.18. That's probably UTC. There we go. Got another one coming come in there. Got more and more messages coming in. So that's 18.43. And the time now is... This is uh, one hour in, uh, ahead of UTC. So it's 19.43. So we are looking at the right thing. So this is, this is how we do it. Uh, oh sorry, so on plane, plane plotter you want to click on this icon up here. That one there shows the the signal 
a car signal over audio and that one there says message view click on that and this is uh, where it will, all, it will pick up all the ACOS data now I'm not seeing anything plot on the map being plot on the map ah all these came all these aircraft are uh, coming in from ACOS because uh, I, I don't have ADS B reception enabled at the moment so all these are coming in over ACOS and now we can see more and more messages so, so that's basically how to do it now I'm not sure whether different frequencies will, will yield different kind of messages because I'm quite new to this look at that notification London Heathrow something um, but that seems to be coming in as blips of ACOS data so I think we are at the correct frequency anyway alright thanks for watching please leave me a, a comment if you have any questions um, yep that's why it is thanks